Welcome to the Genius Solutions Populating Item 10D on the new claim form in eThomas video. This video will detail what information is reported in Item 10D, where to find the list of condition codes, and how to populate Item 10D in eThomas. Let's discuss Item 10D as outlined from the National Uniform Claim Committee. The NUCC publishes instructions for completing the CMS 1500 forms on their website at www.nucc.org. Once you're on the main page of the NUCC's website, click on where it says 1500 Claim Form and go down to the 0212 1500 Claim Form. On the page you'll see 02-12-1500 instructions. You'll want to click on the most recent instructions. Okay, I'm going to scroll down to the page concerning item 10D. And it states here that item 10D is for claim codes designated by the NUCC, which is the National Uniform Claim Committee. So when you use these, you're going to report claim codes. And you should be referring to the most current instructions from your public or private payer regarding the use or the need to report these codes. When required by the payer to provide these codes, you're going to enter a condition code in the field. You can get a list of the condition codes on NUCC's website under code sets. We'll go there in a moment. It if you're going to report more than one code, you're going to enter three blank spaces in the, ne the next code. It's important to note that for workers' compensation claims, condition codes are required when you're submitting a bill that is a duplicate or an appeal. And then if you're doing that, you need to make sure to put your original reference number in box 22 for those conditions. Um, there's also a note that do not use condition codes when submitting a revised or corrected bill. Gives you an example here of what 10D may look like. Okay, let's discuss the condition codes from NUCC's website. Okay, so we're going to navigate back to NUCC.org and from the heading Code Sets, we're going to go down to Condition Codes. Then here is a list of current condition codes. Okay, let's discuss entering information into eThomas for item 10D. Okay, once you've logged into eThomas, go to the patient in which you wish to enter a claim code. Select the claim from the claims list. Then you'll want to go into the header in which you want to change. If this is a new condition, it's best to add a new header. If it's the existing condition, edit that header and in box 10D, you'll go ahead and enter your condition code from NUCC's website that you need to enter in there. Once you've entered in your information in box 10D, make sure to save your header. And then when you print out your claim form, Box 10D will have your condition or claim codes on there. And remember, if you need more than one claim code, separate each code with three blank spaces. And that's going to wrap it up for entering information in item 10D in eThomas video. Thank you for watching, and please check out our other videos re relating to the new CMS 1500 form.